What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to Foot Locker and we're going to see if they can put together a $1,000 mystery box for us which has never been done at a retail store like Foot Locker just to see what they would put together for us. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to walk up to them and say hey I have $1,000 that I want to get shoes with. I want you to pick every single shoe and I don't want to see what they are and if that ends up working out we'll have a bunch of sneakers that we'll get to unbox back here that I will not see. I'm assuming we're going to get a good amount of sneakers and in this video I'm going to be giving back to some people around my city. There's a lot of people who are in need right now and I want to take some of these shoes from Foot Locker and give those back so you guys will see that later in the video hopefully that all works out let's go ahead head to the mall let's go all right guys so we're headed to the Foot Locker right now but we're being very careful when picking the Foot Locker because if we go to like the big one at the largest mall here security's got us out in five seconds literally they watch you it's not happening so we chose to go to a mall that's like empty like nobody goes to this mall anymore and i think that'll give us a better chance because it'll be like just us in there hopefully the mall is still very quiet if it's not i don't know what's gonna happen but let's go ahead and hit them all right now all right so we just pulled up it doesn't even look like they're open they, there's nobody in this parking lot literally this looks like an abandoned mall from a movie all right so apparently the inside of the mall is closed but Google Maps shows that the Foot Locker here is open, so I'm gonna maybe see if we drive around. Maybe there'll be some sort of entrance. There's nobody here. Obviously, the interior of the mall is closed, apparently, so that would be why, but I don't know. Let's go see, we might find another one. That mall was a bust. I don't know why we even thought we should try there. I, don't, I thought maybe it would be okay, but it's not. Right now, we're headed to another mall that's actually the second most popular, I would say, mall in the area, so we're gonna try that out. I think it should be good because I have more current releases. Let's hope we get some good footage and they'll do it for us. Hello. Hmm. Cannot find any employees and the music is so loud. Question, so I'm trying to do uh, a little bit of a challenge thing where I wanted to see if I could have one of you guys pick out shoes for me mm -hmm. and I don't know what you guys pick and then I pay for it. Okay. And so it's kind of like a little challenge thing that I'm doing. I basically say, you know, thousand bucks, you can pick all the shoes for me. I don't want to see what they are and then I'll buy them. Okay. And to do that now? Yeah, if I, like, see if, yeah. you know, maybe yeah, you guys are done. Do cool. cool, thank you. How many shoes you want her to pick? Doesn't matter. Thousand dollar total. He got a thousand dollar to spend, he's doing a little challenge where he don't even want to see what you pick. He just want us to pick the shoe. Yeah. So just pick the shoe for him. What size shoe you have? Size 11. Size 11. So I'm assuming based on what we like, yeah, you pick for me. So any shoe, just up to like a thousand bucks. <laughs> Thank you. They're in the back checking for me right now, getting all this stuff. And uh, music is loud, but they got some fire hoodies in here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, I make content online on like YouTube and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's my name, Harrison Neville. If you type in Harrison in like sneakers, you'll find it. Well, there's gonna be a lot of boxes to carry. All right, let's see how I can grab this. Thank you. I, no, I printed it. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Thank you again. Yep. Oh my God, look how many bags I have. Oh Lord. All right, insane amount of boxes bags i was not expecting this so let's throw these in the back we don't have a box to put these into but there we go if i had to guess 12 boxes we gotta go home throw these in like a box or something so i don't see them and then we'll check in with you guys then you guys will see what they picked this took took an hour surprisingly i, did, I thought it'd be quicker and they got a thousand dollars on the dot with tax everything thousand bucks so they finessed something but let's head back I'm tired for being in that store all right guys, so we just got back. We're gonna open up the trunk. I wanna try to put these in some sort of box so that we can kind of present it that way a little bit better than pulling it out the bag. It'll be loud, but again, let's take a look at what we have. I do really appreciate Foot Locker for doing this. I just talked to their manager and I said, hey, I have a challenge. Can you put together a thousand dollars worth of shoes? You guys pick them out, your style. And he said, sure, called somebody over, let's do it. It worked out, it took about an hour, but still, they put in a lot of work and I appreciate that a lot. So we have five bags. I see a couple of the boxes. I see some Jordan, I see some Puma. This is insane. Again, we're gonna find a box, we're gonna find something. We gotta take these up, this is gonna be tough. Let's go. Guys. 
I gotta hop in here. Gotta give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Honey. So, what is Honey? Well, sneakers are expensive as we know, and there are rarely, if ever, any coupons on rare finds of sneakers. There literally just aren't coupons. So how can you actually save money while buying hype sneakers like these? Honey is the answer. Do not shop without Honey because you could be earning gift cards with Honey Gold. Honey gives you reward points with Honey Gold just for shopping on all of your favorite sites. How does Honey work? Well, let's say I'm on StockX and I'm checking out with these sneakers right here, these air rubber dunks. Once I get to check out the Honey Gold reward will pop up on the screen. I rack up on gold on all these sneakers like these. Bam, they're in hand. And then I redeem those rewards for a gift card. Honey Gold works like all the other reward programs that you guys might use, like your credit card, like food. You buy, you earn, you get gift cards. It's that easy. So you think that you're good on finding deals on sneakers like these Travis Scotts right here? Nah, not unless you're using Honey. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. Get Honey for free today by going to joinhoney.com slash Harrison. That is joinhoney.com slash Harrison. And that is so they know that I personally sent you. And thank you to Honey for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, so we just got back. I'm gonna have Nick go ahead, take all the boxes out of the bag, put them in this box so that I do not see them as I'm doing it. The box will be closed up and then I'll go ahead and unbox it. So I'm gonna leave the camera here running so Nick can go ahead and put them in the box. All the sneakers are in there. How, do you did you count how many or do you not know? No, I didn't even count right. a ton of sneakers. I'm surprised for that. Let me, I'll show you guys the receipt in a second. So if we take a look at this mile long receipt here, look how long that is. They almost ran out of paper because of it. Our total came out to exactly one thousand dollars i don't know how they did it but they did exactly one thousand dollars and i'm not gonna look at any of this stuff over here but the subtotal was 925 dollars 92 cents and i i don't know how they did it and we're gonna see maybe they added some discounts i don't know but with all that being said let's go ahead open up the box this is gonna be a little less traditional than usual with these mystery boxes because this is retail it's not hype beast but it's interesting to see what an employee would pick out for me they know nothing about me they just heard somebody come in and say can you spend a thousand dollars for me so Let's start pulling them out and see what we got. And first off, it looks like we have a Kyrie right here. And this is kind of a crazy box. This is the Kybrid S2. So everything size 11, my size. Kyrie 5, you can see there. This box art is incredible right there. Retail 140 on these. Let's pull these out. Dang, this is like a nice basketball shoe. I've had a few Kyries in the past. I had the Lucky Charm Kyrie, and those are a crazy shoe. I didn't have the special edition box, but I know that this is a good basketball shoe. I play basketball here and there. I have these Paul George sneakers right here that I've worn previously, but I don't have a ton of performance basketball shoes. So this is actually should be a good one. You got, got the smiley face there. These are cool. I don't mind the all black. You got the eye. That's some like messaging going on here. 140 bucks retail. And this one, according to Nick, is a more recent release. Let's check the date tag. We have came out in May. Looks like there's like camo. I can't even get all the details on this, but that's the first shoe there. 140. Uh, oh wow, it's two different prints on there. I'm just curious if they like discounted me or anything to get it to this amount because that's already like one eighth of the price right there. We'll keep moving. We got some Adidas. Been a minute since some Adidas. These look like an NMD possibly. Yes, NMD R1 with the white and all gum bottom. This is a very clean NMD. Obviously, you guys know back in the day the NMDs went crazy and they were going for absurd amounts of money. Pharrell Williams is kind of making trying to make a comeback with them. They're dropping a few more. They're sending them to influencers. This is a clean colorway. This is like a good everyday colorway, all white. I would probably tear these up because I messed my sneakers up, but they had these. There's no retail price, but if I had to guess, these are probably like 90 bucks, 110 maybe. Kyrie and Adidas, we got some good variants there. We're not gonna get a Dior Jordan 1 or something because this is retail. This is something you can go to the store and get, but I'm curious if they pulled anything secret out the back for me. We'll see what happens. So next up, we have a pair of Pumas. We have the Future Riders, yes. The Future Riders, I actually have a few colorways of these and I've played golf in them. Actually, this is a shoe that I enjoy playing golf in just because the bottom has a nice little uh, traction there. And this colorway, I believe I was sent by Puma. It's the black, green, and dazzling blue is what they call it. Now, you guys are gonna probably wonder why am I buying all these sneakers? I'm gonna be giving some of these away and giving back to some people for these because I, I don't need all these sneakers and I actually am gonna go try to find some people possibly after this to give these out to. But just so you guys know, I'm not gonna be getting these and I'm not just gonna be sitting and not wearing them. So let's keep going. I wanna take a peek in and see what, see what we're looking like. It looks like we have a lot, a lot of shoes here a pair of socks one pair of socks and I need these I'm glad they include a pair of socks 22 bucks you all know we go through socks like nothing and most people just wear the same socks and forget that they should update and get a new pair and so this will be nice the dry fit high top I like those regardless for working out and every day so let's pull out another one we have a Nike air box here this is unique actually I, I don't even never seen this box. Air Max 90 white and particle gray. Yeah, oh, these are sick. 
This box is actually really sick. I've had a few Air Max 90s. Recently, I got like the green pair, but this is a, a nice like royal blue. But this box is nuts. I actually really enjoy the Air Max 90 as a wear shoe. And this is one that I 100% would wear. These with shorts look amazing or some nice joggers, but this box is very unique. I've never seen that. All my other ones just came in a regular Nike box. So I'm, I'm wondering if this is like special edition or something. That's four shoes already and we have a ton more to go. Sorry I have to hop in here in the middle of the video, but I have to because for good reason, me and Sneaker Knockers LLC are giving away a pair of J Balvin Jordan 1s. Yes, the J Balvin Jordan 1s that are unreleased. These are absolutely insane. Now, all the rules are going to be linked down below, but again, don't forget you have to subscribe to the channel. All the rest of the rules will be linked down below. Check out the Instagram post where the rules are and uh, yeah, do not miss out on these guys. I don't even have my own pair yet. You guys are getting them before me. <laughs> again, shout out Foot Locker for doing this. This is like not your typical thing that somebody to Foot Locker would do, but we have a Banasi JDI print. $30 slides right here. We have, yep, the Nike Just Do It slides. Can never go wrong with a pair of slides just for around the house. Everybody needs a pair of slides. It doesn't matter if they're Gucci, whatever, Nike. I think just for around the house, it doesn't matter if you have those. I've got, I've bought some designer ones in the past and they just slide. You just wear them in the house. You don't wear them out. So it doesn't really matter. Some, I see some boxes that I recognize, which is one, a blazer box. You guys know a blazer is like my favorite silhouette of a shoe for everyday wear. I, every like top 10 video, I do them. So this looks like a blazer box. We have a blazer 77 vintage what color Ooh, we got that Easter pink I love this sneaker the 77 vintage blazer is my absolute favorite and I actually like these pink swooshes right here they kind of go with the strange loves which are downstairs right now the strange love Nike SBs but I I'm gonna wear these cuz everyday wear I swear is this sneaker that they just look good in jeans they look good in joggers they look good in shorts no matter what and for a hundred dollars you can get them at stores this is my number one if you're gonna spend hundred dollars on a shoe at a store you're getting you should get a blazer doesn't matter the color this my top so far the, I like these two right here these are two that I would 100% wear and I'm going to I might have to replace my blazers because let me grab on check these out wait for it these are so I washed my car in these look at how beat up these are there's so many scuffs I don't even try to clean these just because I know I'm gonna beat them up look at the heel there heel drag fresh pair coming in clutch I don't the pink I do not mind at all I think it's a cool little accent color so these are gonna have to I'll keep these because I can wear them when I'm gonna get shoes destroyed but cannot go wrong with the blazer 100% love those amazing pick right there let's keep moving this is like a uh, cardboard Nike box which kind of reminds me of the off-white Nike here number 354 we have a Nike D break type huh these are interesting. I have not seen these before. This is like a deconstructed Nike, but this is like the exact same silhouette as the Puma Rider. Check that out. This is kind of like, I've seen a few pairs of Nikes, obviously like this, the Tailwind is very similar, but this is called the D-Brake type, 90 bucks in laser orange. That's interesting. It's kind of like a deconstructed sneaker. I, I kind of like that. Three, five, four right there. Yellow is a little bright for me. Looks like they have like a, a deconstructed tag too. This looks so similar to Off-White. I like the box too. I've never seen this silhouette before this exact silhouette running out of space here uh so i bought some few sneakers recently and so far there's only one that i actually have and that is this puma rider right here so that's one two three four five six sneakers seven sneakers and we have one two three four five left still so let's pull these out we have a jordan this is a jordan why not 0 0.3 huh that's interesting definitely looks like a basketball sneaker there I've never heard of this before. Whoa, look at the size tag on the bottom. That's interesting. This is 100% a Jordan basketball sneaker, more than like the lifestyle. You got like the elephant print on the back. Never seen these before. Kind of have some reminiscence of some of the Kyries with that outsole. Obviously you have the zoom there. Definitely a unique one for me. So we have four pairs left. We have another N352, which is the same box as this. This one seems a little smaller. The Nike Drop Type HBR. Let's see. Ooh, this is like a blazer. I actually saw these in the store. No more room here. This is a deconstructed, looks just like a blazer low. Super long toe there. And then you have the deconstructed constructed tongue again stylings from off-white in my opinion you have like the extra chunky there this looks like it could be a skate shoe for sure it has a nice like flyweight material nice little like kind of like parachute another one from the same line as this n354 right here beach silhouette i like the colors of this one better but silhouette of this one i kind of like better it's just super long second one there drop type hbr this one came in at 75 bucks i really do not know how they managed to pull off a thousand from this like i need to look through and see if there's any discounts okay so so some of them, the why not, this was on discount for 70 bucks. D-brake type R, I think that's, 
One of them is another 30. There's some discounts on here. I guess stuff that was on sale. So this one right here was only $30 on sale. That's pretty cheap. That's crazy for this pair. $30, good value right there. So three more left. We got Puma, Nike, and a Champion. Now the Champion looks like maybe it slides. We have a US 11 Champion, University Oxford. Oh, <laughs> we got some slippers. There we go. These are actually kind of sick. There you go with the house slipper. Champion house slippers fuzzy inside and they look like a hoodie on the front look at the front pocket it's supposed to be like the champion reverse weave these are these look really cozy i'm gonna have to wear these around the house forget the slides these are gonna be the move i'm gonna get when i go to the mailbox this is gonna be my wear 55 bucks so look not too bad it's about the cost of a hoodie got the gum outsole that has the champion logo that's pretty sick i'm not mad at these i'm gonna wear these 100% those are gonna be worn this winter. We got two more. We got a Puma and a Nike. All right, let's see. Puma first, we have a Puma. Is this another rider? Puma BMW MMS Future Rider? Huh? Whoa. Whoa. Check that out. This is a BMW Motorsport Puma Rider. I, that's pretty sick. I They had no clue I'm into cars or anything like that. And they put a Puma car in there. That is sick. Puma Motorsport. This will go perfect with that Kith BMW that's coming out. Dang. I literally did not know that these were a thing. Puma has sent me a lot of shoes, but I've never seen the BMW collab. If you guys remember, I had an M4, black actually. These are sick. Got the colors of the BMW. I did not even know this existed. And that logo on the back is pretty sick right there. That's dope. Not expecting that. All right, last sneaker up. We have a Nike Air Max 97 in this multicolor, crazy looking color. These are pretty dope. I'm not mad at this colorway. There was a lot of variety here. Look at all these shoes for a thousand bucks. Let me put these on the table. We're gonna compare a thousand bucks for all these to one pair of shoes that I have. Check this out, all of this for one Jordan 1 Union. Which of these are you selecting? I mean, if you're starting a collection, quality over quantity, or I don't know. If you had all of these shoes, it's a tough pick. This is might go up in value over time, but these probably not, but you never know. So right now, I'm gonna take some of these sneakers. I'm gonna be giving them back to some people locally. Around the general area of where I live, there is a kind of a large conglomerate of some homeless people around there. And I wanna lace some of them up who are going through hard times with some sneakers. So we're gonna be taking some of these sneakers and giving them out to some people on the street. So let's go ahead and hop in the car right now. So hopefully they fit them, but I know some people can use some new shoes more than I can. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and give some back. Let's go. Yo. Some sneakers. God yeah. bless you. Have a good one. Hey man, use a pair of sneakers. Yeah. Pleasure to God bless. Thanks. We've been driving around for about 15 more minutes. We've only found two people so far. We're gonna keep driving a little more, but we can't seem to find anybody else to give sneakers to. If we can't find anybody, when I go out in the future, I'm gonna keep these in my car and give them out. I won't put it on camera or anything, but we're trying still. Two pairs given out so far. Hopefully they can get some, you know, fresh shoes and feel comfortable in them. But yeah, if we find anybody else, we'll let you guys know. If not, we're gonna go back to that. Got back, no success in finding anybody else, but thank you guys so much for watching and making this possible. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out.